Therapists Ecker and Holly developed coherence therapy when they checked which of their clients had done the best. It turned out emotional memory was key. Although it quickly encodes life lessons after dramatic events, it can also make us prisoner of our past experiences, eventually causing symptoms. A therapist can bring out the unconscious lesson and where it came from in order to unlock the memory block. But first, the client and therapist have to figure out what symptoms to focus on and where they came from. Then there's the matter of figuring out what contradicts that stubborn belief. If done experientially, namely, it feels like it's really happening, the visit to the past and the contradictory lesson open up a few hours when the usually unconscious lesson can be changed. Besides coherence therapy, other approaches using similar principles can work too. But some approaches have problems. Behavioral cognitive attempts to set up a competing conscious lesson without touching the old unconscious memory will often just end up in a battle that the emotional brain will win. Yet another approach is to let out all the emotion and have a nice big cry. But if you don't add the contradictory lesson, then again, the old lesson just stays put in the emotional brain. The book includes four contributing therapists' cases. The first case looks at a father's depression and anger after his daughter contracted meningitis and lost a leg. The therapist eventually got the client to admit he didn't want other people to see yet another mistake of his, so he was pushing people away. And if he admitted he couldn't have done anything about his daughter's illness, he'd be admitting defeat. As a perfectionist, the client believed doing things right means nothing bad will happen. The therapist gave him an index card. On one side was the client's perfectionist attitude, and on the other side was an invitation to consider the opposite. The client looked at the card over the week and came up with examples where other people tried their best but couldn't control the outcome. That contradictory lesson sealed the deal on stopping the client's torment and self-punishment. So, unlocking the emotional brain certainly has a lot of interesting theory and examples. I suspect it's one of those books that will indeed linger in my memory.